I've done all my testings and it seems to work well as far as I know it's working now I've got my 32s pack here which I only need 20 cells off was it 24 can't remember I'm going to plug it in now this could either work or it could end in fire there could there could be flames there could be tears of joy or tears of pain or <laughs> I've plugged all the 20s in so we've got 20 in series and I'm going to plug this in and I hope and pray that this switches properly if it doesn't it's going to it's going to end in a fire Excellent, we've got none burning. If I, if I was to get the sequencing on this wrong, it just burns the lot, it, all of it will go. It is balancing, but it's at a very, very low current. Because these relays are only switchable to a very low current, so I've had to limit the pulse time on it. So we've got a difference of 19 millivolts. This here is the uptime, how long it's been on. That's the date and that's the time. I'm going to plug my scope in again and I'm going to test this switch to see if it is actually switching. It should be switching 4 volts now. That's switching 4 volts now. As you can see the balancing itself is switching at 4 volts. Which, which obviously the cells are all at 4 volts near enough. But we're on 18 millivolts. So that should be switching now between between cell number 15, 17 or something down to cell number 2 which is the lowest which should be 0, 1, 2 which should be that one so it should be switching on that one now I can't explain to you how this works how that works all I can say to you is if it wants to read cell number 1 it will switch those two on now one's connected to ground, one's connected to there. And if it needs to read cell number two, it connects those two, which is one one to one goes to ground and the other one goes to there. That is all I can explain to you. This is definitely 100 percent my box. Not your box. My box. And in my box, you know already what's in it because it says so on the top. <gasps> They've even given me a sticker. Just look at that, won't you? These have got a, um, a copper pour on them for the, uh, to try and isolate everything. I took it this time to put the resistors on or other resistors put on. It does take a long, um, a couple of days more uh, but things like they, they, these things are a nightmare to get on so I've had them put on well, you can't see them because they're literally grains of salt I've beefed up all the um, the load wires the load points and everything um, hopefully this top one is a ground plane oh, I've also got two joysticks on it as well uh, for, for operation I've said it before and I'll say it again this isn't the final layout it's not going to look anything like this. This is purely for testing. The BMS itself is going to be that bit there. I've separated the two, apart from the temperature sensor, that should go up a bit further. But the BMS itself is that bit there. And this bit is going to be probably about that big because the TNC itself is going to go back on the back of the LCD. So the LCD display is only going to be about that big um, and about that high. Right. I'm going to start building.
I thought I'd plug it in off camera first, which is something I don't usually do. Um, I think something catastrophic's gone wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, catastrophic. The cat was actually asleep on the bed. Uh, it's popped every single one of them. It was a lot of popcorn going off. Oh god, careful of that display, Tony. Yeah, I don't think any of those are actually working anymore. I really don't know why, because everything's exactly the same. These cell voltages are perfectly balanced. So I don't know why that's actually happened. These are the, the Toshiba ones that I've got to test with. Oh, bollocks. Right, back to the other ones I suppose. And then I'll try and figure out what the hell went on. Mm -hmm. 